Good morning. Let us start with St. Anthony. To pray at your altar, in faith we draw near. Let here by your daughter, Christ's mother so dear. Let us join in the pilgrim's prayer to Good Saint Anne. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good Saint Anne, you are a woman of incredible faith. In your life, you always trusted in God and received the strength that you needed. So I come before you today to ask for your intersection. When I am afraid, help me to trust in the Lord. He invites me to fear not, but to have faith in the face of tribulation. He is my hope in time of trial. Dear Grandmother Sin An, you remind me that all things are possible with God. So I place myself in your arms and command to your loving care my family members, loved ones, and all those I care about. May God's grace help me conquer my fears and grow in my faith every day. Amen. Let us pray the chaplet of St. Anne. In honor of Jesus, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as this is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Sing and pray for us. In honor of Mary, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Sing Anne, pray for us. In honor of Sing Anne, our Father who art in heaven, holy be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Sing Anne. The Litany of Sing Anne. For our daily bread. For comfortable shelter. For joyous companionship. In our temptations in our troubles, in our sufferings, in our good deeds, in our witnesses, in the hours of danger, in the hour of death, for our families, for our friends, for our enemies, for our church, for those in need, for those who have no one to pray for them. Prayer for the sick. Augustine Anne, you have the wonderful gift of being able to restore our trust. This is why we ask for your help to control the pandemic that threatens us. We ask for your intersection to your grandson, Jesus, to restore health to those who are affected and peace to the places where this virus has spread. We thank you for placing people on the path of our suffering who work in the medical field. They are often tired and overworked. Give them the energy that they need to confront this pandemic. Lord Jesus, we feel powerless in this global health crisis, but we trust in you. You will always be the doctor of both our souls and our bodies. Good thing, Anne, with your daughter Mary, protect us, continue to take care of us, and guide us always to your grandson, Jesus. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us prepare for Mass.
Well, thank you, Fiona. Well, let's begin then. Our entrance antiphon. God sent the Son, born of a woman, so that we might receive adopted adoptions as children. We pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. As we gather in the Saturday of uh, Epiphany, we thank God for his revealing himself to us, his love and concern for us, and we entrust him our cares and our worries, confident that the Lord will hear us. For our faults and our failures, we ask for pardon. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. And Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who through your only begotten Son have made us a new creation for yourself, grant, we pray, that by your grace we may be found in the likeness of him in whom our nature is united to you, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, we have this confidence in him that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us in regard to whatever we ask, we know that what we have asked him for is ours. If anyone sees his brother sinning, if the sin is not deadly, he should pray to God and he will give him life. This is only for those whose sin is not deadly. There is such a thing as deadly sin. About which I do not say that you should pray. All wrongdoing is sin, but there is sin that is not deadly. We know that anyone begotten by God does not sin, but the one begotten by God he protects, and the evil one cannot touch him. We know that we belong to God, and the whole world is under the power of the evil one. We also know that the Son of God has come and has given us discernment to know the one who is true. And we are in the one who is true, in his Son, Jesus Christ. He is the true God and eternal life. Children, be on your guard against idols. The word of the Lord. The Lord take delights in his people. Sing to the Lord a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their king. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let them praise his name in defensive dance. Let them sing praise to him with tuberal and harp. For the Lord loves his people, and he adores the lowly with victory. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let the faithful exult in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their clutches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is the glory of all his faithful. Alleluia. The Lord takes delight in his people. Alleluia, alleluia. The people who sit in the darkness have seen a great light, and those dwelling in a land overshadowed by death, light has arisen. Alleluia, alleluia. The 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus and his disciples went into the region of Judea where he spent some time with them baptizing. John was also baptizing in Annan near Salim because there was an abundance of water there and people came to be baptized. For John had not yet been in prison. Now a dispute arose between the disciples of John and a Jew about ceremonial washings. So they came to John and said to him, Rabbi, the one who was with you across the Jordan to whom you testified, here he is baptizing, and everyone is coming to him. John answered and said, No one can receive anything except what has been given from heaven. You yourselves can testify that I said that I am not the Christ, but that I was sent before him. The one who has the bride is the bridegroom. The best man who stands and listens for him rejoices greatly at the bridegroom's voice. So this joy of mine has been made complete. He must increase, I must decrease. The Gospel of the Lord. It's appropriate to hear today's gospel in preparation for tomorrow's baptism of the Lord. John the Baptist's disciples were jealous for their master that someone else is also baptizing. But John points out that he must decrease so that Jesus can increase, which is a good lesson for us. We also shouldn't be jealous of others We should not take offense by what others are doing. Maybe more people might be going to St. Cecilia or maybe the Baptist church down the street, and that's okay. All our work will come to an end one day. Someone else will do our job, and that should be okay. We don't have to be afraid of change or to do something new ourselves. When it's time to go, we can go gracefully. We'll hear Jesus tomorrow graciously asking John the Baptist to baptize him. Perhaps it's to recognize the work of the Baptist. Perhaps it symbolizes John passing on to Jesus, transferring to a new ministry. When it's time for us to go, we may we have the same graciousness as John the Baptist. Mother Teresa taught us saying, God did not call us to be successful. Look at what Jesus did on the cross. By outer appearance, he seemed like a failure, right? The religious leaders condemned him. The the crowd were chanting for him to be crucified. And even all his disciples ran away. Not exactly our image of success. Likewise, we may be tempted to count or to show some external signs of success. But Mother Teresa challenged us to ask instead, have I been faithful to what God has asked me to do? That, she says, is success. Faithfulness to God, doing God's will with the right attitude, with the right heart, and giving our all. And nothing else matters. Amen.
Let us continue then, bring our petitions to the Lord. Loving God, give us hearts that listen for your word. Let us imitate the good Samaritan who does not turn away from suffering. Help, Help us, us to, love. to love. May we listen to those who struggle daily for dignity. Let us hear your voice in the stories of those on the margins. Help us always see what binds us together as sisters and brothers. Help, Help us, us to, listen. to listen. May we be willing to stand in the place of others. Let us be open to difference that we may arrive at understanding. Help us to seek reconciliation that our word may reflect justice. Help, Help us, us to, to heal. May our faith move us to action in the public square. Let us work with others of goodwill, finding solutions together. Help us exercise political charity, seeking the common good and dignity for all. Help, Help us, us respond. respond. Give us the courage to respond like the Good Samaritan, setting aside divisions to attend to the needs of the other. May we know and see your love present in our communities, made real in the ways we love one another. Help us to be courageous. And so this Mass is being offered for all of you and the members of the Confraternity of St. Anne living and deceased. And in charity, we also lift up in prayer those who are in need of God's healing grace. So for all of our needs, we pray to the Lord. Lord in our prayer. Good and loving God, you who are kind and merciful to the sinner, hear our prayer once again. And with we entrust them to you in faith. In your goodness, grant them through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Thanks to your goodness we bread to offer. Fruit of the earth, work of our hands. It will become the bread of life. Blessed be God, blessed be God. Blessed be God forever. Amen. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be God forever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Thanks to your goodness, we've wine to offer, fruit of the vine, work of our hands. It will become the cup of life. Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be God forever. Amen. Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be God forever. Amen. Pray then, my sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty. 
and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For today you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations and when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy dear for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the beautiful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until he comes. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Salvatore, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also the deceased members of the confraternity of St. Anne and all who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With one heart and one faith, together we pray. Our Father.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
our communion antiphon. From his fullness we have all received grace upon grace. Let us pray. May your people, O Lord, whom you guide and sustain in many ways, experience both now and in the future the remedies which you bestow, that with the needed solace of things that pass away, we may strive with ever deepened trust for things eternal. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is in that let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord by our lives. So, O oh good Saint Anne, grandmother of Jesus and grandmother of us all, intercede for us, look kindly upon us, and help us bless our families, ask the good Lord to also bless uh, our friends and our nation and our world. And we ask this in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Good Saint Anne. Good Saint Anne. Good Saint Anne. Have a wonderful day, everyone.